Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode eight of Let's Try Insomnia, the Ark. Hope you guys are well. It is approaching early morning here. Sun's about to rise soon. I'm just chilling and thought, hey, be a good time to play some insomnia. Let's go ahead and click continue and see what we find in today's episode. We're at the Vulture's Nest. We're meeting all of our kind of squad mates. Um, we're looting a lot. And let's see. We've got to talk to some peeps here, I think. I don't think we... Did we talk to Platt? Plain looking girl scrutinizes your face. You don't look too good. Is everything all right? Hmm, yeah, I'm all right. Whatever you say. Can you tell me what's going on here? Thank Azar, no new mortuary urn has appeared this week. However, this sort of thing won't last. There's a lot of unrest in the near range these days. The situation has reached boiling point. The authorities have decided to deal with Zone B-27, which means we're among those who can kick the crap out of the inhabitants. Well, at least that sounds fun. Hmm. As far as I can see, you don't think much of getters. Who cares what I think? I was ordered not to be too nice to them, and breaking orders leads directly to being court-martialed. And after all, even if you mess up smashing a rebel's head in, whoever behind you will finish the job. Do you know anything about the uh, attack? The government has declared high alert, and now all the outposts are being staffed with new recruits. Only it won't get any better here until we learn how to work together. Good leaders are everything. Um, speaking of fun... Let me guess, you took a stroll around the nest only to find garbage and bums with TB? You can play cups with them, but it would be better to go see Black and get some books. Maybe they'll promote you to Major. Gotta go. Hmm. I'm not really sure what she was talking about exactly. HQ. Ah. What was that? Comics. Radio. Resonance 2. Oh, there's Rebel. Sam of the picture. Huh. Pretty interesting. Alright, nothing else to pinch here. I don't want to talk to Rebel yet, though. Because he's going to send us on our first mission, presumably. And we've got some people to meet first. Here we have... Avil. Avil fills a pipe with Cryoma tobacco and hums a tune. Are you looking for someone, soldier? So you decided to light up after your workout, eh? Good choice. You're a bit of a joker, aren't you? I'm on duty here. Yeah, yeah, in the gym facility. The administration has to be sure that the iron weights don't get stolen and sold as scrap. What's the most important thing for a man on duty? To make sure the dumbbells are back in their spots and that the log is up to date. Are you serious? Are you insane? Stand back and don't distract me from watching the lower levels. Uh, where do people have fun around here? If you like beating people up, take a walk around the residential neighborhood. But I prefer to spend my time at Second Wind. That's a local, uh, um, pastry shop. You can also check out Black's Bookstore. Can you tell me what's going on in the near range? The world is obviously going to the dogs. No use trying to figure out why. You only end up knee-deep in crap. Rebels are everywhere. It's about time the government actually governed this dump. What do you think the reason is? The committee is trying to snatch control of the Autonomy Council. After the explosion in Lim, their people are everywhere. Where do they get so many resources? The council allocates millions to enhance security and invest investigations. It looks like the ordinate is done. We will be disbanded in less than a year. Let's hope for the best. Fine, keep on sitting on your butt hoping for something better. 
We don't have time to chat. We talked to Viana, right? Yep. Can you see I'm busy? We came in here. Did we talk to everybody in here? You were who? Guys? I guess we did. Right, he was the lazy, sleepy guy. Alright, we are hungry. There's HQ. Ah, we didn't talk to... Wait. Come on. There we go. An elderly woman with strong forearms and a sneering face leans her elbows on the counter with an air of self-importance. She speaks to you without hiding her annoyance. Okay, lunch is over. I ain't serving nothing else. Play along. Could there perhaps be something left over? I can scrape up some leftover Oma porridge. Hmm. I guess I'm not that hungry. It's all good for you, sweetheart. You and the likes of... You and the likes of you get a plate full of the same stuff all across the sector, so eat up and don't piss me off. Tell me about the situation in the nest. Situation? The roaches have launched an attack on the pot of soup. About a dozen people were slaughtered during the retaliation, and another half dozen people were killed attempting to hide in the soup. Don't bother me with your stupid questions, alright? Have you heard any news about the renegades who staged the terror attack? I heard that the radicals from B-27 were involved in the act of terror. Although who knows with those dirty hoodlums. Anyway, if there's a problem, it's because someone was bored. Can I buy an extra meal? Resonance 2, Gunpowder Recipe Comics. The 98th issue of The Adventures of Funny Nose or Furry Nose. Furry Nose's own brother turned evil and is preparing a trap for our heroes. Will Furry Nose manage to escape alive and unharmed? Read on and find out. We can sell it for 110. We've got the dumbbell. We'll sell that. Um, I'm not disassembling it. Maybe we should. Maybe we shouldn't. Uh, military rations are pretty cheap. 273. I didn't 104 of them. We'll take two more of them. Um, and we've got chocolate still. And we'll take a little water. Two of them. 744, we have 3500. I guess we're good to go. Let's go ahead and flip them, complete the deal, yep. Suppose I, come on, hurry up, I ain't got time to deal with your crap. Suppose I have to go. Um, let's read Gunpowder Recipe. And let's read Resonance 2. Ike Durai, Resonance Volume 2, a collection of essays written in 4145 before Exodus. 390 AE edition. 
In contemporary political history, we can easily differentiate two tendencies all humans have, which happen to be polar opposites. One of them aspires to redevelop the state itself, that is, to make the individual more dependent on the state from every aspect, or more precisely, on whatever authority that controls the state, be it the party, the army, or the government. XP plus 10. The other tendency is humanism. Its origins are key stages. And its origins and key stages are parliamentary government and the tarred legal declaration. The long-term goal of this stream of phenomena is to weaken the cementing violence in the lives of people and to transform the state from a police state where the prevalent structure favors national or class domination to a system of general economic balance with the protection of individual rights. History also shows original formations that may seem to have something of a hybrid nature while essentially remaining a phenomenon of the first type. They alter their own form to the extent that would allow them to achieve the desired objective. This, however, is just a tactic to cover up no more. We got some XP for that. Let's see if we can talk to her again. Ah. Uh, We'll take one box of cereal. Long bone. Alright. We're hungry and thirsty. Let's head back out here and see if there's anywhere else to explore. I don't think there is. Wait a minute. Elevators were out. This was the quartermaster. Sancho. Um. Here's our locker. Can we walk around the lower neighborhoods? I don't know if we can. We might be able to. No. Check the map. Quartermaster kitchen sleeping quarters exit exit garage elevator second wind pastry shop oh there's a way down behind me down this way did we not go through this door hmm can't go through there this is where oh Oh, that door up there. Huh. How do I get out there? Radio. Picture. I don't remember how we get out there. Oh, I didn't see that before. For saline solutions. See, there's definitely ways to miss stuff based on the kind of sketchy detection. Let's see. I don't know how to get out there. I think we got out there once before. No, it was this side of it. All right, then I guess we're going to see if there's a oh, picture on that side of the wall. Come out here. Yeah. No point coming out here. All right, let's report for duty then and get an actual mission or whatever is going to happen here. Yeah. 
in HQ. There's Rebel. Captain looks you up and down as you salute. At ease, soldier. Let's not waste time on formalities. I've already read your personal case file. What do people normally say in such cases? Oh yeah, welcome to the Ordnance Military Post, D101-23. This place is more often referred to as the Vulture's Nest, though. I'll start my presentation by humbly introducing myself. Captain Derek Rebel, commander of the 52nd Operational Company. You've been drafted just in time. We've been a real mess for two weeks now. This sector has just been a powder keg since the state of emergency was imposed. I'm guessing you've already figured out what we're going to do here in the near future. In broad terms, Captain. Well, I'm going to explain. The committee imposed a state of emergency after the turmoil in Herb. The locals are rather troubled. Where there are no military posts, crowds of street urchins have begun to gather, tearing down everything in their way. Why is there no... Rebel interrupts you mid-sentence with a calm gesture. He continues to talk after a short pause. Our current objective is to facilitate the committee's search for revolutionaries and to ensure safety within the sector. Your personal objective is to follow orders in full obedience, and at the same time to learn how to use your own brains in my absence. Sometimes these may be hard to combine, but you'll have to learn to do it. Do I make myself clear? Affirmative, Captain. In any case, experience will quickly set things right. A few words about your living arrangements. You'll be provided with a bed, a locker, and a set of personal belongings. You now have three minutes to chat with me on friendly footing. This means you can ask me questions without adding my rank after every word. This is an order. Rebel's eyes look as though he's smiling warmly. What happened in Lim? Good question. The official version states that the terrorist attack took place in the control node. To quote Tector Verder, Despite the system duplicates, the explosive devices damage the network that links all Delta modules in Lim. Don't ask me how all that stuff works over there. The overload resulted in the deaths of several hundred people, and the folks in the three lower segments started to show signs of life, so to speak. Rather troubling signs, though, I must say. How did it all end? The Ministry of Health declares that the majority of survivors adapt successfully. They show videos of stories about big, pink-cheeked fellows, where those pink cheeks assert that they're doing well. But rumor has it that no one from either of these three segments has ever regained consciousness. How many people have been injured according to the official version? They announced that there were 4,000 injured, four regiments. Just think, assign them a brigadier general and you're good to go. What are the results of the investigation? There were several versions in the course of investigation, but most of them were discarded once they examined the evidence. It has since been confirmed that the incident in Lim was a terror attack initiated by some rebel group. I'd like to know more. Of course. Um, the committee? I didn't know the Black Cloaks ever ventured outside Herb. I'm less than thrilled myself that we'll have to deal with them again. They did come out of their hole to get their uniforms dirty, so to speak. Though so far, all they do is give orders and take smoke breaks. Do they even have the authority to give orders within the near range? That's right, pal. Officially, the Ordinate runs things here, or to be more precise, the Tyrang Division. But HQ have issued an order to obey the committee. So I guess we'll uh, support and contribute. What do they do here? Officially, they're searching for renegades. However, their real goals always remain a mystery. What do you think of the committee? Now, the committee is supported by the common masses as well as the council. It's possible that the work their propaganda unit does is not as evident in the near range. But more and more followers of the new doctrine have started appearing in Herb. There are two main points in the new doctrine. The committee's ideologists have prepared an economic reform agenda. They plan to eliminate the permanent deficit of food and other resources. Furthermore, the new doctrine states that order must be brought to the near range. I must say they have taken the liberties to suggest the harshest methods to accomplish this. The problem is that the guys in the order prefer to ignore the situation at hand. 
The Ordinate has long since turned into a clumsy machine with archaic traditions. If it carries on like this, a new order will be established in Nurb quite soon. I still have a few questions. Of course. Who are the renegades? They oppose the regime. There are a lot of dissatisfied people in the near range, and now they are being hunted down. Tell me about Reservation D-106. This is the biggest settlement in the sector, and in the entire near range, I suppose. There are about 8,000 inhabitants at D-106, and the majority of them work at the water purifying station to maintain the infrastructure. The rest are resellers and prospectors who will say anything to avoid taking responsibility for the work they do. The reservation was quite a peaceful place up until re recently. Do you mean the state of emergency? Not only that, a local clan called the Sons of Morak has been maintaining strict order and kept any unrest at bay. These days, though, there's a bit of a commotion stirring. The Moroks now have disciplined, ambitious, hooded comp competitors. The state of emergency is only making the situation worse. Everybody is a nervous wreck right now. What do you mean, clan? Some kind of gang? The clans are communities that engage in trade with herb and the reservations. Friendly communities whose members happen to be armed to the teeth and provide a full range of services. Drugs, smuggling, slave trafficking, prostitution, etc. But Herb prefers to cooperate with them. Better than them than total anarchy. What does maintaining order mean? Herb won't ever manage to maintain control over the near range without cooperating with the clans. A new breed of people has evolved here over hundreds of years of existence in a confined space and in constant fear. Dirty, anxious people with a desperate desire to live. Without some friendly control, this loose cannon might fire at any given time. Hooded competitors? As far as I know, it's some sort of cult. They have it all. Strange outfits, amulets, wild excitement at the sight of their leader. They don't cause much trouble normally, but I'm afraid this won't last. Especially since these windbags really know what they're doing. I'm told that even the ordinate staff shows up as sermons. I'd like to know more. Of course. Tell me about Reservation D-106. Um, how do things work at the Nest? Outpost D-101-23 is one of the garrisons that ensures the safety of Reservation D-106. I doubt you'll manage to find anything interesting in these digits. Let's talk about something else. Of course, soldier. Tell me about the situation. What do you want to know? No questions, I'm waiting for further orders. Rebo raises a perplexed eyebrow and scoffs. Well then, looks like someone's been trained well. Although I guess that'll save us some time. As for orders, well there's no shortage of those. Plenty of work, not enough people to do it. I've got a mission for you. Zone B-10 just requested reinforcements. A crowd of getters is gathered around the outpost, demanding that deliveries of food supplies be resumed. Lieutenant Yarva requests immediate support from the neighboring garrisons. She's an experienced commander, which is why I'm letting you go with a clear conscience. I'm about to send you the coordinates to block post B-10-2. Go there and report to Lieutenant Yarva. Affirmative, Captain. Vulture's Nest updated. And we have Thirst. Hunger seems to have disappeared. There's books on the table. We can't seem to take any. At least right now. Let's get away from that dang radio. Alright, we've got a mission. Um, how do I get there? I have to leave the map somehow on an exit. Do I want to leave anything behind? We only have 15 pounds to play with. I should probably leave. Well, let's put our money right there. Wow, 2,900 exactly. 20 saline solutions is only a weight of one. Four medicines, 0 0.2. 0 0.6. 0.15, this is a weight of 0.1, parts 0.35, handmade bullets 0.95, St 
standard 9mm carts, 2.32. Simple weapon parts, 1.5. Weapon parts, 0.4. A lot of ammo taking up weight. Iron plates, 0.45. Simple parts, 1.7, but this is stuff we should probably carry, if I were to guess. I guess most of the weight and stuff is our gear, stuff like that. So yeah, I guess we're, you know, we Gucci. Let's, um, head to an exit. What was that? Oh, is that just homie here? Where'd you come from, Quad Zero? Oh, uh, what do you want? I have a few questions, Prime Sergeant. Oh, you've come to the right place, sweetheart. Newbies are my favorite. You just have a million questions. Ask away and I'll try to pretend I'm interested. I've been meaning to ask, why Quad Zero? So I'm guessing someone decided to pull a prank and didn't mention that I don't like that nickname. Aaron Daguerre, J5008. Yes, that's my actual freaking number. The idiot bureaucrats and herb can stick their four zeros where the sun don't shine. Go. Alright, I don't think we go this way, right? Doesn't appear so. Gosp. Anaki or Anaki. I just want to see if this door happens to open yet. Or, oh, it does, son. It does. Oh, this is a game changer. We can go down here. Just explore where... You know. Poke our nose in down here now. Looking for junk to scavenge. Looks like there's a road here. This might be end of the line. No. Wait, were we here already? That looks familiar. And what's up this way? Oh my gosh, it's letting us come up here. What in the world? Where was it? Oh, this is the military base, isn't it? No, wait, we're back up here. This is the, uh, this is the vulture's nest still. Somehow we can get down there and prowl around down there, so let's head down there. It didn't let us prowl around last time. But that's a way to walk back up anyway. Alright, so there's little shops down here it looks like. Different things. Different people. Different junk piles. Can't see what they say. Find some junk here. Wow, this is a whole big expansive area. We're gonna be a while here exploring. Especially if nothing is showing up. Ooh, repair bot. Disassemble. Um, one energy supply, standard batteries for high capacity energy weapons made in the Issa Didder 3 factory. Getters use these batteries as portable power supplies at home and when traveling. Whoa. Getter. I know there's 
stores and stuff, but I really like just digging through junk, apparently. Yeah, that. Junk. I like to loot lots of junk. Okay, we can't go this way. Probably until we're ready to leave, yeah. And we're not ready to leave. I like the sound of waiting knee deep in trash, too. It's pretty cool. We come this way? Oh, we can. Oh, this is back at the garage. Okay. But there's nothing more for us back here, right? Required scammer one. There's a workbench we can play around with, I think. Hey. Open back up, man. I want to head back out. I don't want to be in here. Oh, garage gates. Come on. Oh my gosh. There we go. Alright, so that's the garage. Come down this way. No trash. One second, guys. Bear with me. All right, I'm back. And we're 32 minutes into it. And I finally have the laptop more on my lap, which obviously it should be. It, um, whoa, we're hung. Whoa. All of a sudden, we got really hungry and thirsty. And. Let's um, use one. Hope we didn't use two of them. No. Alright, food taken care of. Thirst is still up there. Let's take a flask. So time is flying, guys, and we're just about done with this episode. Um... So, what does he say? I don't know. But here's a building we can maybe go in next time, or this time. Come down this way. Stairs access. Repair bot. Weird, strange things going on. about use to assemble and get a three rusty plates huh. get her back here microchip device we'll take that Whatever that thing is. See, it pays to look around. There's little spots hidden all over like that. Of interesting gear, potentially. Um, we can make iron plates. One iron plate for three rusty ones. Uh, I don't know. Let's hang on. On to that for now. Let's check the microchip device. Um, oh, it's a book. Let's read it to learn how to make the microchip device, I guess. Elevator call. Oh, we can call the elevator, too. It did. All right, it has the uh, suit of armor he's trying to restore. Fire escape is good to go. 
Yeah, it's a fascinating game to explore. I'm, I'm into it. But I'm into pretty much every RPG we play, and it's hard to play them all. Chico. A middle-aged sergeant with an uncompromising mustache. Mustache gives you a sharp look. We remember the dead sky. We remember. I haven't seen you earlier. Are you new? In a way, yeah. I'm from the vulture's nest. I've recently been given an assignment. Did Rebel take you under his wing? Excellent, excellent. I have a few questions. Go on, don't be shy. Tell me about Rebel, Prime Sergeant. Rebel and I get along pretty well. He's a great man and a good soldier. You're really lucky he took you under his wing. Ten years ago, he was one of the vultures. Not bad, huh? But the illness had put an end to his career. The poor guy never did recover completely. What illness are you talking about? He survived spontaneous awakening. His big sleep was interrupted when he got... It was just getting interesting. For several months, Rebel was not doing well at all, neither mentally nor physically. But he's a tough guy. He did it even though he'd had to go on sick leave for several years after. But how did he end up here? They say he wasn't himself for a good long while. He tried to return to service with Scander's vultures but failed the test. I heard he took the dismissal badly and made a big mess of things. But that's none of our business. A few years later, he decided to return into service, but he didn't have a trace of his past ambitions anymore. Rebel has to be positioned at some remote garrison in the near range. He prefers listening to the radio rasping. We need reinforcements to sorting papers in an office at headquarters. That's how we got here. I think he found his calling in teaching the younger generation. He says the officers from the military base lack the experience to bring back the same number of men at night as what left the barracks in the morning. Tell me more about the vultures. Scander's vultures are the best and brightest, an elite subdivision, the pride of the ordinate, multi-skilled specialists. Let's just say, but you know all this. What uniter doesn't dream of becoming a vulture? Let's talk about something else. Okay, let's give it a shot. I'd like to learn more about Reservation D-106. The shadiest dive of a place with all the faults and virtues of a slum. It used to be stupid peaceful, though. The guys from the military base went there for a bit of fun whenever they were on leave. Things have become unstable nowadays. A new criminal organization is formed out of nowhere, challenging the sons of Morak. Though we, too, sometimes cross the line with the locals, to be fair. The committee finds the state of emergency hysteria convenient. Who are the sons of Morak? It's a bloodline clan, something between a trading co-op and a gang. Herb works with the clans, but allows them too much free reign. If I were making the decisions, I would make sure these scumbags were all cut down like cattle. Let's talk about something else. Do you have any theories about what happened in the limb? I don't like to talk about things I don't know. There was an explosion and those who organized it are hiding in B-27. That's what the newspapers tell us. In any case, I saw for myself once again that the Dark Kala Division, along with the committee, are no more than parasites, unable to deal with basic security issues. What do you think of the Dark Kala? The Dark Kala is nothing but 11,000 idlers dusting their turrets, being way more focused on their lunch menus than on their responsibilities. Tanaber, the head of Herb's security service, is only capable of talking on the radio. They've dumped all the dirty work on us and act as if they're the dang sacred guard. And all this goes on while sites of national importance keep exploding under their very noses. What do you think of the committee? The committee is full of overly ambitious bureaucrats. Their ideological bravado is complete farce. Even a somnic can see that all they want is power. I heard about their new doctrine. It's a cheap demagoguery created with only one purpose, to gain control over the Autonomy Council. Rumor has it that the near range is under committee control, is that true? Sheikub snorts indignantly. Nonsense. The committee may be in charge of the investigation, but we're covering their butts, so we're the ones leading the parade, no matter what those arrogant black cloaks may think. Let's talk about something else. Okay, let's give it a shot. So, what do you have there? I'm afraid they're waiting for me, Prime Sergeant. Alright, so... I'm finna wrap it up here in a second. I don't really want to talk to anyone else and get in long conversations. I'm starting to get stuffy anyway, my nose, throat, and stuff. But we can look for more 
piles of junk. Getters everywhere. Go getters, if you will. Or if you won't. Tamur Kavasov, examine. Oh, he passed away. We got a globe. A titanium globe in the style of the late era of peace. It depicts Tina, Tana Tico, the younger planet. The globe is made, a, made by hand, but its maker is unknown. It's a noteworthy example of a post-exodus de decorative craft. Three bucks and a ozone hole distillate. Distillate, distillates are products of distillation and the long-term aging of various natural and synthetic substances. The ozone hole, a beverage with 30% alcohol content with its soft minty aroma, is perfect for killing time in your lonely room. At first glance, it seems as though its nonsense name refers to an ancient natural phenomenon. The ozone hole gives nice defense against, against explosion, fire, and poison for a minute. We'll take all that. Oh... Let's me leave location. I don't want to leave though. But we are going to save. So I want to say thank you guys for joining me. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. There's much more to come. So stay tuned. If you did enjoy. Please press the like button. Give the video a thumbs up. Or you can leave a comment. I really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel. Welcome. I invite you to subscribe. And hit the notification bell. So you don't miss any uploads. And that said guys. Do come back next time. There's still much more fun to be had. We're just starting out in what's probably maybe a 30 or 40 hour game. I'm not sure, but there's a, there's the bookstore. We'll check out all this stuff next time. So until then, guys, be well, live well, stay well. As always, and much love, peace, and joy to all of you. And we'll chop it up next time as we explore more insomnia, the, insomnia, the arc. Ciao for now.